Let's try this enrichment problem. Even though we throw the negative 2 over, scoring both sides still results in a problem. So we just have to just try to square both sides right off the bat, and this seems a bit strange. When we square both sides, the right side looks pretty simple, but unfortunately the left side still looks pretty bad. So what else can we do besides foiling? So the left side now becomes this times this becomes x plus 1. When you multiply the insides, negative 2 root something doubled becomes negative 4 root something. And as for foil, last times last becomes positive 4. And we have the right side here. We have one radical. Let's make it positive by throwing it to the right. And let's throw everything else to the left. Notice how this x and this x cancels, because you can subtract both sides. So here's the equal sign. We have 4 root x plus 1. And we had a 1 here, plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. Now let's divide both sides by 4. So we have x plus 1 equals 2. And finally now, the question is starting to look a bit easier. We square both sides. We have x plus 1 equals 4. And finally, we get 4 minus 1, which is 3. And here's our answer. You can verify the answer. When x is 3, we have 3 plus 1, which is 4. The square root of 4 happens to be 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So left side equals 0. And when x is 3, we have 3 minus 3, which is 0, and the square root of 0 is still 0. So the right side is also 0. Let's try this enrichment question. What's the square root of x squared? It might be tempting to say that x squared all to the 1 half simply can be multiplied such that the answer is x to the 1, or just x. But this is not completely correct. The true answer is the absolute value of x. Let's give an example. Suppose x equals 2. What is the square root of 2 squared? So the answer would be the square root of 4, which is 2. And this makes sense, because if we said incorrectly that the square root of x squared is equal to x, which is kind of right, here we got lucky. Indeed, the right side is 2, and here the left side is also 2, because 2 squared is 4, the square root of 4 is 2. However, if x is equal to negative 2, let's see what happens the right side would equal negative 2, that's your x value, and the left side, what would happen? We have negative 2 squared, which happens to be a 4, and the square root of 4 would be 2. So as you can see, left side does not equal the right side, so something went wrong. And to the rescue, we have the absolute value sign, because the absolute value sign makes negatives positive. So when we have x equals negative 2, the right side becomes the absolute value of negative 2, which happens to be 2. And now everything would make sense. So let's define the absolute value of x. The definition of the absolute value of x is case 1. Just drop the absolute value signs. When it's already positive, we can just rewrite it as having no absolute value signs. So when x is greater than or equal to 0, we just drop the absolute value signs. In case 2, we can actually flip the sign. So the definition of absolute value of x can also be negative x, given x is less than 0. We can even draw this picture. We will learn later that the inner function here is x squared. 
It's a parabola. So the parabola curves like this. And when you're talking about the, the square root of x squared, the squaring, the square rooting and the squaring, they cancel each other out. So instead of curving up, we now have a straight line. So on the right side here, we have a straight line, a 45 degree line. And on the left side here, when you square root something that's growing upwards, it no longer curves, it looks like this. So the square root of x squared looks like a line going uphill with a slope of one, and to the left of this y-axis, it has a slope of negative one, which happens to be the same graph of this one here. y is equal to the absolute value of x looks exactly like this. If you said y equals x looks like a line like this, it is correct. But the word absolute value flips negatives to become positives, so it ends up looking like a V.